the government of Evo Morales. And we have these leaked tapes from Bolivia that show that there have been ongoing conversations with guess who? U.S. Senators Marco Rubio, yeah. Ted Cruz, and Bob Menendez. Yes. Three people who have ties, very deep ties, to the elites in Latin America. Very deep ties to those who are trying to overthrow the Venezuelan government, those who have been trying for 60 years now to overthrow the Cuban government. I'm going to say, Hayaya Bolivia! Hayaya! Hayaya los Quechuas! Hayaya! Hayaya Imaras! Hayaya! Hayaya Indígenas! Hayaya! The will of the people is actually not dictated by the OAS. It's not some fake concept of democracy that this country purports to to advance around the world. We're close, right, a couple blocks away from the White House, right. where there's an individual semi-occupying that place, purporting to be the president, who himself wasn't even uh, won uh, by a popular election in the United States. So this concept of democracy, that the United States sets the agenda for the entire world, is completely corrupt. We see an indigenous leader who was elected by the people, Evo Morales, um, we see him being overthrown by this right fascist regime with Nazi related ties all the way in Santa Cruz, right? We see him being a businessman. He's a lawyer. He has stakes in gas companies, right? And if you don't know or aren't familiar with Bolivia's current resources, they hold an abundance of resources that is the apple of the eye of a lot of corporations. Colonialism and imperialism, it just doesn't seek to exploit and control lands and resources within that process. It also seeks to destroy culture, language, and personhood. And there is always resistance to that destruction. That is what the indigenous folks in Bolivia are doing and have been doing. And that is what we are out here doing today. U.S. CIA, hands off Bolivia! U.S. CIA, hands off Bolivia! U.S. CIA, hands off Bolivia! I just want to encourage y'all to, to be extremely careful where you're getting your news and, and to encourage your friends to do the same because all these, uh, the, the mainstream media, the international uh, branches of essentially American foreign policy, they're not going to tell you the truth. They're going to tell you what the racist, uh, fascist opposition in Bolivia wants you to think. And uh, now that they've destroyed uh, and ransacked the public broadcasting facilities in Bolivia because they don't want any opposing views to be seen the same way that they did uh, against Chavez in 2002. Uh, it's impossible to get any real news outside of the alternative. Let's build the movement. Let's not be, let's not be pessimistic. Let's not be pessimistic. It's a hard moment. It's a tough moment. It's a tragic moment. But we have to keep fighting, because without fighting, we can't win. And if we fight, we will win. Let's rally together, march together next Saturday, 12 noon, at the White House. Thank you very much.
people.